welcome back guys into the channel and welcome back to more red dead redemption 2 now if you guys missed that last part man we did get little jack back and uh turns out that everything's all right he is fine no harm was done so that is good the camp is in very much higher spirits than they have been in the past or at least in the recent past so we find ourselves in our little room here in our new little camp at Shady Bell. And I actually just saw this. I have a note or a letter here that I'm going to see exactly what this is. This kind of just Arthur, appeared. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens... I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours mary all right so it's another letter from mary and it seems as if she's got herself into even more trouble and of course she's gonna call on us to help solve her problems <laughs> even though she no longer wants to be with arthur i guess this guy's like the cleanup crew out here you know let's just call on arthur to fix everything for us <laughs> so i figure since we just read that note for that letter good morning arthur Trelawney. We might as well uh, go over there and kind of see exactly what is going on there. Did I go out the back door, bro? Why does this place not look familiar? I think I did go out the back door. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. We have a dog now? Come here. Nice. We got a little dog at the camp. Maybe we've always had him. I don't know. I've never noticed. I'm looking out for him. Same as we all are. He even looks like you, John. Oh, man. Abigail and John still arguing. Dude, is that uncle? Oh, my goodness. He is not sleeping by trees anymore. He just sleeps right on the ground. <laughs> there is a man that uh, doesn't really need much to survive. I'll tell you that. Doesn't keep. Uh, doesn't take much to keep I'll uncle happy. Arthur. Okay. You seem well, Reverend. Yes. Well... Maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. <laughs> so do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Mm. <laughs> Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. A kindly fellow. Took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really, but he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Yeah. Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling. All righty then, Reverend. <laughs> Good talk, baby. All right, let's see. Where's my horse at? Need to get this guy down here. So I am going to go ahead and go to Mary. Let's see. Where exactly is she at, though? All right, she is quite a distance away. So we're going to go ahead and go to Mary, kind of see what kind of uh, trouble she's got herself in over there because... She always seems to get in trouble, but at least this time it shouldn't be about her brother. So we're going to kind of see exactly what this is going to be about. 
I guess Arthur still has a soft spot for uh, Mary. And I actually am glad I did change Arthur's clothes, so he's looking he's looking good here, you know? <laughs> he's looking good for this little date he has with Mary, but I guess we'll just see exactly what she wants and how this goes. I imagine she's going to get us into some trouble. That seems to be what she always does. <laughs> I can't believe this camp is this far away from, uh, from San Denis. I kind of thought it would be closer, but it is far as hell, man. It's always foggy near the city, too. I wonder, is that like... Is that like the pollution, or what is that? Why is it always foggy every time I ride into the city? It's like kind of weird. I'm gonna assume it might be the pollution, but I have no idea. It's a lot more foggy than like the other places we've been in the game so far, so just kind of a little interesting thing that I've noticed. I do think it's uh, interesting, too, that this Mary Linton uh, little mission here, it's not a main mission. It's not yellow. It's a white mission, so it's kind of optional, I'm assuming. But I kind of want to see what's going on, you know? <laughs> I'm nosy like that. straight down <laughs> I was like what are those two guys doing just listening in bunch of creepers man Arthur hello Mary you came sure whenever you call for me I'll come oh Arthur what's wrong daddy your father I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I'll think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Oh boy, I mean, I guess we have to help her, right? Like, came all Please. this way. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things oh the filthy rotter where can we find him he said he was going down to the theodore eckhart stables something about a horse it's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard come on then don't be a pompous ass arthur it doesn't suit you oh should i leave that to daddy leave daddy alone he suffers enough well i suppose i can take some consolation in that Oh, Arthur, I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But 
Well, I don't know. All right, then. <laughs> this lady needs to make up her mind, you know? Does she still love us or does she not? I'm so kind of confused. Think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it. This is the place. Oh, we got some stables over here. Oh, man. Might be a good place to buy a new horse. <laughs> Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. So you're telling me this lady couldn't just help. walk over Very here? funny. <laughs> you know? What did she need us for? Can't stand there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady. You'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. I and have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> well, he seems like a charming man. I'll say that. This way. We got to keep our distance, though. We can't get too close. Man, what is this guy going to say when he sees Arthur? I have no idea. <laughs> he went around the corner. No shit, Mary. I can see that. Arthur, drop back a bit or he'll see you. He does look faded. I'll give him that. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. I guess we're just gonna follow him and see where exactly he's going. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! What a shame. It kind of seems like Arthur and him would have gotten along, you He's know? He's heading across the road. <laughs> you know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. Could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. We did, man. We got our new clothes and everything. I guess we could have shaped, though. I mean, it's been a minute. <laughs> he just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Hey, move. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What is this guy doing? Kind of invested now, I gotta admit. <laughs> I 
What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. Yeah. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Don't hurt anyone. How else are we going to get this thing? <laughs> All right, hold on. Where did he go? Could be around this corner somewhere. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Damn it. Chase after the wagon, bro. Can I take a horse? I don't know whose horse this is, but <laughs> thank you kindly. Hey, stop that coach! Get back here! Come on, baby, we got this. We got this. We got this. You hear me? Stop the damn coach! They are not gonna stop the coach, God, Arthur. Damn it. <laughs> it is not gonna happen, brother. Oh my you goodness, bro. I am pressing there. X as fast as I can right now, and it is not working. This horse is terrible. Whose horse is this? <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Alright, we gotta try to cut him off. Hold on. Oh my lord, bro. Oh, look at that. We did it. <laughs> Let's just throw him off. Drive to a secluded spot. Did we get the brooch though? You're making a big mistake. I hope we got the brooch, otherwise we are screwed. Maybe he just left it on the wagon. That's what I'm gonna assume for now. Or is he in the thing? Oh, he might be actually inside the thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's definitely inside. <laughs> nice, bro. I thought he was one of the guys that was uh, up on top there. Get Mary's brooch. Okay, I could actually pull him out. Oh, nice. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Absolutely not. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. All right, I guess that's reasonable enough. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Yeah. That mission would have been so much easier if I just had my horse, you know? <laughs> but no, of course, I had to steal someone else's horse. It's always the chase missions with Mary. That's what I've learned, you know? The last one, the one we did uh, with Mary's brother, Jamie, when we were chasing him, bro, that thing was, like, next to impossible. <laughs> now she fun? should be happy, at least. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, 
Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh... All right, why not, you know? Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> that looks Sort nice, of beautiful, though. in a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. Yeah, After Arthur, you. he's on a date, boys. <laughs> this is kind of nice. Good for him, you know? Now, we saw that play back in uh, Valentine or that little movie. It was more like a, like a bunch of pictures just playing through and someone narrating, but... I don't want to see. Is this going to be like a play? It kind of looks like it. That looks like a stage up there. So welcome <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked Let's the horse it. manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a proprietor or not. Are you of in the a rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled? Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. All right, let's see what this is about. Kind of would have been cool if it was the same uh, same lady that me and Trelawney robbed the stagecoach of, you know? <laughs> kind of bring Thank things back full circle. Us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Denis. Yeah, this is definitely like a rich people theater, that's for sure. <laughs> And just think about all the work that went in to like just create this whole game, man. Like, it's incredible, man. It really makes sense on how like how it takes Rockstar so long to release their games. They work on them for so long, and it's because 
of the little things like this that they add into the game which is just it's like nothing i've ever played man i've said it before and it like it truly is the care and all the hard work and effort that had to go into this is it is impeccable Arthur's enjoying it. Oh yeah, she hit that note there. That was good. Well done, well done. I think that's the end of the show. Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she's pure spectacle and i assure you she can charm any beast any beast at all from cockroach to killer whale <laughs> your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women you are about to do both <laughs> miss antoinette sanserino stop it what in the world is this? Oh, look. Oh, wow. Kind of feels like we're in Vegas right now. <laughs> Okay, this one's better than the first one. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Is that like some foreshadowing there? Oh my goodness, bro, that would suck. <laughs> could you imagine the whole place just lights on fire? Would be good for Arthur, then he could save Mary, you know? Get in good with Mary there. Is she gonna do anything cool like juggle the flames or anything like that or is this basically just it I feel like I'm like waiting for something cool to happen you imagine doing that every day I can't think of anything worse all right well I guess if that's it right, come on we're gonna go ahead and get out oh okay sure if you want Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> um. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> Arthur's a busy man, you know. We got people to go kill, money to steal. My life <laughs> wasn't supposed to... Oh... Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I, if anyone close to me, well, they're wanted too, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're going to run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some, but 
then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Alright, so it seems as if we have not seen the last of Mary then. I like their little love story. It is quite, uh, it is quite nice, you know? <laughs> Alright, where is my horse at? Get over here, fella. Man, it is far away. How did it get all the way over here? Oh, there it is. Hey, buddy. Isn't uh, the best spot, though. I gotta be honest. I gotta climb through these boxes. Boy. Right, can we just go through here? There we go. Nice. This isn't awkward at all. No awkwardness here. Hey there, mister. Hello. All right, let's see. There is a bounty over here, too. I kind of want to check this out. I know I said in the last part that we would do another bounty. It has been a minute, and the bounties are actually a lot of fun, honestly. Let's see what this is all about. To turn yourself in, so I conclude. What the hell is your bounty problem? hunter? May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? Yes, you may, good sir. Let's see who do we got here. Hundred dollar reward. Okay. Lindsay Wolford. Captured dead or alive. Okay, so we can actually kill this dude or woman. Is it a dude or a woman? Looks like a dude. As the leader of the Lemoyne Raiders, he is wanted for raising a militia against the state. Un-American activities, murder, and adultery. The gang was spotted in the Mossy Flats region. All reward claims to be filled at and will be paid out in full by B. Lambert, San Denis Police Department. You okay. going after Lindsay Waffles? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot. The Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. <laughs> all right. Now we got a new bounty, boys. Let's see, where is this guy at exactly? Wanted dead or alive. So that's actually interesting. They actually don't care if he's dead or not. Oh my goodness, bro. We have a bounty ourselves over this way. Whatever, boys. It is what it is. We're going to need to mask up once we get close, you know? <laughs> I mean, I would pay my bounties, but I don't know. $175 is a lot of money, bro. I don't know how I feel about that. Hopefully nobody sees us in this area. It would kind of be uh, ironic to uh, get caught by a bounty hunter while we are bounty hunting someone else. <laughs> I actually think that would be really funny. going on over here Whoa, I don't care if you're a tax collector post collector damn census taker if you're in this state for the Stay federal back. government you're an enemy oh. ah, <laughs> why not boys thank you stranger these raiders are insane yeah I know I've dealt with them All right, at least we saved that guy <laughs> that was kind of random but you know this is a very creepy part of the map as well. Oh my lord, bro. Oh, like, I can't see anything out here. Anything at all. The fog is so dense. You never know what you're gonna run into while you're riding your horse in Red Dead Redemption 2, you know? <laughs> I have seen just about everything you could imagine. Barely see the moon even in this fog. That is insane, bro. 
feel like this is a place I would not want to be in real life, to be completely honest with you guys. This would give me the creep. Yeah. All right, we need to equip the mask. We're going into bounty territory, boys. Ah. Roanoke Ridge. Oh, that's why it looks so creepy, bro. I think it was, what show did I watch that it was Roanoke? I think it was American Horror Story. I think one of the seasons was like American Horror Story Roanoke. Locate Lindsey Wolford. He is wanted dead or alive. It should be somewhere over here then. Okay. But I wonder if he's wanted dead or alive. Should I just kill him? Kind of seems like that would be the easiest way to go, you know? Yeah. Easy. Investigate the fort. Oh, boy. Got a whole fort over here, bro. Hold on. We need to get our guns out. I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <sighs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out enough. Let's make a stand, boys. Someone take the big gun. You heard, Lindsay? Oh, let's do it, baby. You know what time it is. Keep pushing, boys. All right, come on, stick your head out. <laughs> nice try, brother. <laughs> we killed him. Don't let him take him away. I'm not sure I meant to do that, but we did. <laughs> Can I blow these up? Oh my lord in heaven, brother. Uh-uh. It is not going down like that. Come on, buddy. There you go. There we go. Well, they got a lot of people at this place. That's for sure. Well, this man thinks he's... Oh, what? Oh, my Lord. What was that? <laughs> Guess we got to go up this way. Hold on. Give me a minute. You know, honestly, there was no other way that uh, this guy was going to go. So the fact that we killed him, I'm not too mad about it. Oh, my Lord, bro. How many are there? I think there was one down here, too, maybe. Where do you think you're going, brother? Okay, so he escaped. I thought he went in this building, but he definitely escaped. All right, which one is it? That's the Lemoyne Raider. Here we go. Go ahead and pick this guy up. Take him back to the sheriff's office and collect our reward for our good duties. <laughs> Yo, this was actually one of the coolest bounty hunts I've been on in the game. You know, I kind of wish there was, like, more of them. I think I've only done three, but that's kind of all that's, uh popped up but they are a lot of fun this one was the best one though they got a whole four over here we just took them all down oh my lord bro we are so badass where you at horse get over here I'm gonna make us some money today noble steed It's gonna be a long ride back. Oh man, I hope that guy didn't see all of that. <laughs> He's just sitting there watching us. At least he didn't pop up as a witness, so that's good. Yeah, I'm not real sure that my plan was to kill him, honestly, but I figured there's like no other way that was gonna go down. If you guys did it without killing him, definitely let me know because I don't know how you did it, but. I think we can take off this mask now. We should be good. We are out of the bounty territory. Also, let me know in the comments below, man. Should I pay my bounties or should I not? Because I might want to go back into uh, Valentine at some point to get this Dutch warm blood horse that uh, everyone keeps commenting about. So definitely let me know in the comments below, man. Should you pay your bounties or should you not? I definitely want to know because 
I'm kind of conflicted on whether or not to. I really don't want to lose any of my money, man. It took so long to build up this wealth, you know? <laughs> I do not want to waste it on bounties. Oh my lord, that was a good lightning strike. That was nuts, bro. I feel like we probably definitely shouldn't be outside right now, you know? <laughs> we gotta make it back ASAP. I do like the city in the nighttime, man. It looks so nice. Like, with all the lights and everything, like, it looks amazing. And with the lightning in the background, even. Ooh. All right, here we are, boys. I wonder if they're going to say anything that I killed them, you know? <laughs> I wonder what this interaction is going to look like. Can I just walk in here? I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the terror of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. <laughs> nice. So we just got to drop him off in the car. I'm guessing if he was alive, we'd throw him in one of the cells. But he's not. That's an honest day's work right there, baby. Oh my lord, bro. Why in the world does Arthur, like, charge at doors, bro? <laughs> like, holy shit, man. You do not need to be that aggressive, my guy. Well, that's what they were, and not a penny more. Well, I don't need a penny more. As long as there's a hundred here, I'm good. I see it. All right. Our first bounty in San Denis. That was actually pretty nice. I'm not even going to lie. That was a lot of fun, too. Hey, <laughs> Hello, mister. Bien le bonjour. Oh, de mon chemin. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, bro, this game looks so good, man. Especially the city part. It's like... It is insane. Yeah. What in the world, bro? What is this? Help me! Damn. What Please. happened to you? I need medicine. Hey. Tried that plan over there. It was like a gunshot. What plant? This plant? Oh. Is it like a poisonous plant? Hold on a minute. The one with the pink flowers. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Oh, it's a poisonous herb. Okay, hold on a minute. Oelander sage shrubs can be identified by the thin leaves and small five-petal pink flowers. The popular herb can be seen growing near the riverbanks of Bayou NWA. This shrub is considered to be one of the most poisonous plants in America and should never be consumed. The cardiac glyoside poisons produced by this plant can be used to craft deadly weapons. Hmm. Nice. Man, we have not discovered many plants, or animals for that matter. Oh my goodness, 8 of 78, bro? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> We've discovered 3 of the 6 gangs, though, which is kind of cool. 23 of 63 weapons. We only have 3 cigarette cards. Oh my god, boys. I am so sorry. That is absolutely pathetic. But Some things you learn the hard way. What can you do, you know? <laughs> yeah, you can... You can say that again. Oh, well, we did a good thing there, at least. I'm okay with it. Come on, pal. Yep.
All right, let's go ahead and ride back into camp and kind of see what other uh, other main missions we can have over here. I know I said that the part was going to end, but I don't know. I might do one more, one main mission at least before the part's over. Because yeah. why not at this point? We haven't done one main mission this part. I did not expect uh, the whole Mary Linton yeah. thing to take that long, you know? I guess I didn't have to watch the whole show, but... <laughs> that was kind of interest, you know? My curiosity took over me. I love how these guys ask, who are you, every time I come in here, you know, like they can't see me or anything. <laughs> All right, we got a few options here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take that off. We got Mary Beth over there. I'm kind of interested in that. We got Strauss, too. He's just going to be another... He wants me to go collect the debt. I can almost guarantee you that's, uh, that's all that man wants from me. That's all he ever asks for. We've done quite a bit of those. So let's go to Mary Beth. Let's see what this lady wants. Good morning, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that merry girl. <laughs> Yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but... In reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, we got to go save Tilly, right. baby. Head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Boy, this is gonna yeah. get dirty, isn't it? <laughs> I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Ah! Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Shit. 
All right, where's she at? <laughs> oh my goodness. Get out of town, brother. Okay. You enjoy that little nap. Let's get you out of here. I thought there was... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Oh, my goodness. We got to kill all these guys or what? <laughs> all right. Get after them. All right, let's go. I got to get out my guns. Hold you on a minute. A couple more seconds to regret what you... And that's a good night for you, sir. They're heading down the hill to the water. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. They ain't We're going nowhere, bud. Don't you worry bad. about it. No chance. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Oh, we got to lasso this guy? Oh, my Don't goodness. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard as she should you stay the hell out of this oh no oh no that was so You're bad a big mistake. Come here. that's it now make sure you time up real good you son of oh, a bitch still. gonna make these nice and tight all right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly ah. so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now. Yo, this Let's is a around. nice horse. I gotta say, bro, I like the look of this thing. <laughs> Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want oh, I was gonna try to study it. It won't let me. Ride. Damn it. Funny. Bastard. Who are you running with? Yes, you have. <laughs> Funny. Bastard. Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you going <laughs> to do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump Yo, is this horse taking here. a shit just right I there, bro? Get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Oh, man. Why do I got to make the call? Finish I mean, Tilly wanted him to go off. back, so. All right, you. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. I won't go against Tilly's wishes, you know? If that's what she wanted, that's what she'll get. See, now can I study the oh what in the world was that? How come I can't study this thing? Step. I have no idea where my horse is, so I might as well just take this one. 
That's a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Easy, girl. Go, go. You have bonded with this horse, and now it will respond to whistles and commands. Make it your main horse. Equip it with your saddle. Okay. Well, I wish I could study it. I don't know why it wasn't letting me study it. I kind of want to see what this horse is all about, you know? But I guess since this is the one we have, we'll just ride it back to camp. Let's see, maybe now it'll let me study it. Hold on a minute. I mean, it is a cool-looking horse, though. I will say that much. Let's see. What kind of horse is it? A Paulusa. Okay, the speed. Oh, the coat leopard. That's what I like about it right there. This is your temporary horse. Speed's good. Acceleration's all right. All I'm kind of right, wondering what my horse is yep. in terms of those, yeah. you know? I don't know if it's faster than my horse or not. Ah. It kind of seems like it is, to be completely honest with you, though. Yeah. Hey! Over here! Over here! Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm gonna. Please. How do I get the shackles off, though? This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet, that's all. There you go. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or, well, you know, I might have something of interest. You know Ansberg? Well, some la di da rich folks bought up a little cabin up north of there. Very remote. You get me? You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Girl. Well, all right then. That's cool. He kind of gave us a new place to rob. <laughs> that was actually nice. So I wonder if I take this horse back to camp and I hitch it, is it going to stay there? Because yeah. I would very much like that. Hey, hey, who's that? It's Arthur. Good to see you back. So up now. Where is my horse at? Okay, let's go look at my horse. Let's see. Let's study my horse here. Ooh, no, this one's way faster, bro. Yeah, we'll keep my horse. <laughs> we'll go ahead and just keep mine. Why not, you know? All right, but now with all that out of the way, boys, I feel like this is a perfect stopping point for this part in the playthrough. We met up with Mary Linton. We, uh, we finally met her father. Obviously not very fond of that guy, and he is not fond of us. We did all that. We went on a little date with Mary even, which was, uh, which was pretty cool as well and then at the end we had to save tilly which is exactly what we did so definitely a lot of fun this part man hope you guys did enjoy hop down below if you did hit that like button leave a comment you know some more tips and tricks everything like that and uh i hope to see you guys on the next one and as always until next time stay safe out there